What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. As promised, we've got more M3 content for you guys and we've got a familiar car here in the garage today. In today's video, we'll be doing some quick and easy cosmetic lighting mods on Craig's M3. Thanks to my buddies over at Unique Style Racing for sending over a care package which contains the lighting modifications we're gonna to be tossing on the M3 here, one of which contains an LED side marker grill and the other is going to be a front turn signal LED. So a stock M3 comes with these clear turn signals here on the fenders. So we're actually gonna be swapping this housing out with a smoke LED version. Additionally, we are going to keep the black chrome uh, BMW Performance side grille. So we're just actually gonna swap the housing there for the bulb. We're also going to take these OEM amber turn signal bulbs out and we're gonna replace them with some LED amber bulbs. All right, let's check out these goodies that we got from USR. We'll start off here with the front turn signal bulbs. So here's what they look like. There's quite a few LEDs on here. If you guys are looking to purchase a set of these, I will definitely put a link in the description below. So as you guys can see, there's quite a few LEDs on here. There are, let's see, three, six, nine, 12, 15 on around the sides and three on top. So it's 18 LEDs total on one bulb. So this should be a direct swap. Um, I'm anticipating these to be much, much, much brighter than the current uh, OEM halogen ones. If you guys are looking for a set of side grills, here's what these look like. This is going to be for the right side. Um, these are going to be, these are the matte black ones, but they do have a gloss black version, I believe. And uh, as I mentioned, we are going to retain the OEM uh, black chrome ones because they match the kidney grills um, that are on the car currently. So really what we're going to be doing is use the actual LED housing. So you can see there's a bunch of LEDs in here. And so uh, we'll do a comparison between the OEM and the new one. Now that you guys have seen the goods that we're putting on the M3, let's go ahead and flip the car around and get started. All right guys, so we're gonna start off here with the side grills first. This might seem like a little bit of a sketchy thing to do, but um, I guarantee you this is the easiest way to get these off of here. Um, so I've seen some guys actually take, you know, flathead screwdriver and a microfiber towel and try to wedge it behind this corner and pop it out. I find that that's pretty dangerous. You might end up scratching the paint here. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some, uh, some heavy duty shipping tape here. We're gonna basically wrap it around uh, here and here, here and here, and we're gonna use it as kind of like handles and we're gonna pull it off. I've done this several times to multiple M3s and this is the most efficient and easiest way to do it. So don't be afraid, it looks a little bit sketchy and ghetto, but I promise you it works. All right, here we go. So get yourself some shipping tape, get yourself a heavy piece here. We're gonna make basically handles. So I'm gonna put one here, up at the edge. Make sure it's got a nice secure bond. And then we're gonna flip it over and do it on the bottom side. Same thing, just like that. Now we've got a little handle to pull on. So like I said, it seems a little bit ghetto and sketchy, but use a bunch of tape just like that. Um, that way you're not harming anything. You're not using a screwdriver to wedge in any of these corners or anything, and uh, it'll come right off. You just gotta give it a big tug because basically there's a bunch of these plastic tabs and they all have little grooves on them and they sit right in here in these little edges here. Um, the only thing that you gotta be careful about is the wire and um, you know, as you just saw, pulling it right off didn't harm anything. Um, everything still plugs in. There's a little nub here on the wire. 
so it plugs right back into place, snaps in just like that, just a little clip. So if it doesn't come off uh, the first time with the actual grill, pretty easy to come off. Just don't lose it behind the fender because uh, it's going to be really hard to get that back out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this apart and uh, swap in the new light. So just want to show you guys what this looks like. This is the stock one. Um, so this is just regular halogen bulb there. And uh, we'll do a comparison between this and the new one. Now that we've got the tape off and everything, what we're going to do is we need to remove this plastic piece here. So you'll see a little tab here, tab here. If you take a small flathead screwdriver, kind of push up on it a little bit, it'll pop out just like that on one side. Do the same thing on the other side. Just like that, it comes right off. We still need to actually remove this piece. So what we need to do on this one is you just kind of need to grab it and pull it off. As you can see, there's little tabs from the actual grill that kind of go through here. So you just kind of gotta pull it off. There you go. Just gotta kind of manhandle it off of there. So basically these two uh, little prongs here go inside of here. So now that we've got that off, now we can access the screw and uh, you'll need to get a Torx bit. This is gonna be a T25. So we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this. Just like that. And there's only the one screw that holds this in, so once you unscrew that, it should just slide right out. And on this end, there's a little nub here that slides in the end of the actual grill. So now that we've got that apart, we're gonna go ahead and swap in the new one. All right, so here's what we've got currently. This is the OEM BMW Performance Black Chrome version. This is USR's matte black version. And here you can see a comparison between the stock one and the new LED smoked out version. So I think this is gonna look a lot nicer. Um, on the back side of here, it's got a Phillips head. So what we're gonna do is unscrew that. So if you wanted to purchase the entire set from USR, um, this is basically how it would come. And all you would need to do is pop this right back into the fender. But like I mentioned, uh, we're going to retain the OEM BMW Performance grill and just swap the light. So that's why we're adding this extra step here. So pop that guy out, same thing. This just slides out just like that. Put that aside. And then now we're gonna swap in the, uh, the new one, but here's another comparison. So looks pretty nice, I think. So now we'll take this one. And as I mentioned, there's a little groove here on the end and it should slide in one way. Just wanna make sure that it's all the way in there, pushed all the way up against the edge. And then you wanna put it back into place just like that. So it'll sit just like that. That's pretty good. And we're gonna retain the Torx screw. So we have to do a little bit of a modification here. So since we're retaining the OEM grill, the screw holes here are a little bit different size. Hopefully you guys can see that. So this is the OEM one here on the bottom. You see how big that screw hole is versus this one. And so what we need to do is drill out this hole just a little bit, just to make it a little bit larger so, so that we can utilize the OEM Torx bolt. So as you can see, that fits in there. It does not fit in there. All right, I'm back. So basically what I did is I took a 730 seconds drill bit and just made the hole a little bit bigger. As you can see, now the bolt slides in, no problem. So I did that to the other, uh, the other light as well. So went ahead and do that. So grab this again, reinstall. Just like that, make sure it's pushed all the way up against the edge. And then take your Torx bit, screw it back in. So it doesn't need to be crazy tight or anything just because it is plastic going to plastic, but 
Uh, you just want it nice and snug so that it's not moving around when it's back on the car. So that's basically what it looks like. There you go again, another comparison. Looks good. And it's gonna be a subtle difference obviously, but um, subtle differences is what makes it all come together. So let's go ahead and reinstall. Now we can go ahead and put these pieces back on. So same thing, these little nubs fit right in there. And it's just compression fitted. Should snap into place just like that. And then this cover goes right back on one way. Snaps into place just like that. And there you have it. So now we can go ahead and put this back in the core. All right, plugging this back in, pretty simple. It only goes in one direction, this little nub here and this little circle hole. Push it in all the way until it snaps in. Just like that. And then before we actually put this all the way back on, um, I'm gonna go ahead and test the light just to make sure it all works. All right, there you guys have it. There's the new one there. LEDs, they're all working, everything looks nice. And most importantly, what it looks like when it's off um, is also much nicer looking. So here's what it looks like when it's off. Much more slick in comparison to the other side, so. so it's a little bit darker versus uglier white which kind of stands out on the side as you can see the other side just looks a little bit cleaner more stealthy all right now that we've verified that everything works we're gonna go ahead and put this back in so just line up all your tabs push everything into place push firmly against the fender Everything goes right back in, exactly where it needs to go, and that side's done. All right, now we can go ahead and get started here on the passenger side. Same thing, lots of tape. <clears throat> Took some force, but we got it. And here's the uh, light, so all you need to do is kind of Take your fingernail, push up on it, pull out the plug, and then don't lose it behind the fender. All right, so everything works. We're gonna go ahead and put, put this back in all the way. Again, line everything up. Push it into place. And that's that. Clean all the fingerprints off of it and we should be good to go here. So as you can see, pretty simple install. The hardest part obviously is you know putting the tape on here and trying to grip it and pull it off all at the same time. But uh, with a little, a little bit of force, um, it'll come off. You just gotta be patient with it. Otherwise, uh, I think this one's a wrap, guys. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Um, I know Craig, uh, Craig's gonna really like it. It just kind of goes better with the whole black and uh, black and orange theme with the car. So having these smoked out looks a lot nicer during the daytime. So at nighttime, uh, we'll see how dark or how bright these LEDs get. But um, overall, I really, really dig it. Let me know what you guys think. All right guys, so that just about does it on the side grille LED install. So let me know if you guys have questions about how to install it or if you have questions about the actual product, I will definitely put links in the description below if you want to purchase a set of these from USR. Huge shout out again to them for sending me these. Um, I think the car looks exceptionally well with that now, um, but be on the lookout. We're gonna do another video here with the front turn signal, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Oh,